Hey drivers, we are hanging out at the Nodo VW show, directing a little traffic, of course, in the <laughs> in the swap meet. Always a chill show with a great vibe to it. Everyone's always so happy to be here, and I'll tell you, today we have some weather that we could not have planned better ourselves if we begged for it. It's going to stay in the mid to low 70s today, clear skies, there's a cool breeze coming through. It was actually like this yesterday too. So it's really, really been the perfect kind of weather for a show like this. And I think it's all going to change <laughs> in a week or so. So we're wrapping up show season. And for anyone north of I-10, that sounds weird, but we're wrapping up show season with the Nodo VW show today. I'm sitting in the, the swap meet like, uh, like I usually like to. We're going to take a look at a few of the things here and then we're going to make our way to the show space I actually have been driving over from the the shop the last couple of days so I haven't gotten a chance to see the show kind of like we did Lakeland a couple of three weeks ago I'm gonna see it at the same time too so we'll uh, hey what's up man <laughs> so we'll see the show uh, together and get to check everything out at the same time there'll probably be some surprises along the way I know there were last year and uh, hopefully get to talk to a few folks and see some beautiful cars so we're just going to lay back and, and have a, a good stroll around the city center here in Port Orange, Florida to chow no dough. All right, I'm doing something a little different this time. Let me get you turned around and I'll explain. You may notice, hey, that's not VW, uh, that uh, we're in vertical. So I hope this is okay with everybody. Uh, this is something that YouTube recommends these days, and I always like to try stuff, so we're going to try this. All I ask is that you give it a chance, see if you like this uh, this orientation, or if you even care, to be honest. And let me know in the chat uh, whether it works for you or not, because that's, that's what I'm interested in doing. The recommendations are great, but uh, not much sense in doing things that y'all don't want to see, or at least most of you anyway. So let me know. What you think about this orientation uh, the impetus behind it is better for mobile this is a mobile stream and it's going to be obviously easier to view on a mobile device so go ahead and use televisions computers all that kind of things but uh we can see things pretty well with this vertical uh, orientation that we're using today so cool thanks everybody for joining us appreciate it See some of the usual here. The best cooling tins you'll find are the original ones. Doesn't matter if they're dirty and banged up, you can fix that. And they'll still fit better <laughs> recently. Wouldn't be terrible to find a big box of those. I'd like to figure out, oh hey, you saw some folks in the chat there. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, R.B. Matthews Sr. Want to know the prices? Yeah, that blower housing we just saw had 20 bucks written on it. And I have seen those, or I've bought those for like 10 bucks before. But yeah, we can call some of that out. Most of it requires a conversation with the person swapping. And I'm going to limit that because they're busy doing their thing. They'll stay as long as they're selling. And if I take their time with a bunch of questions, it kind of dilutes that, right? We want to be here as long as they can sell stuff to keep their enterprise alive and keep the swap meet going as long as possible. But I'll, I'll throw those out when I see them. Thanks for tuning in for us. Whole bunch more bins over here. Bumper brackets. These are either bay or splitty. ventilation parts here all that under the dash stuff there's some more cooling tin for some dual ports funny thing about pricing is there's some folks that would rather liquidate at the end of the day than carry stuff home so I like I like that they get a chance to get the price they want during the busy time of the show cool GT exhaust over there and if they want to let some things go a little cheaper at the end, and that's an option for both parties too. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I remember you. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Are you having a good swap so far? Yes. What's your name? Randy. Randy? How you doing? I just met a Randy a few minutes ago. We just met another Was that you? 
<laughs> Probably not. So Randy's doing some swapping. What's what's your your best item so far that you've, that I've sold? you've given a new home? Yes, sir. Oh man, um, it's been mostly swaps, meaning handfuls of this and that. Uh huh. But other than that, it's been um, pretty basic, just smalls. Yeah, that ain't bad. That that'll get you gas money, right? Yeah, well, the smalls add up. They do. It just takes patience to get it. Little onesies and twosies, yeah, fives and tens. Yeah, there's a lot of tail lights and stuff like that. I like the lingo too, smalls. <laughs> I think I heard that on American Pickers one time. Yeah, that's why I got it. <laughs> Very good. I love the footage, by the way. That's Thank you, man. Got up there. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, we're going to do a... <laughs> nice, you're informed. Very good. Let me get you a, uh, a sticker. I actually remembered to bring them. There we go. Yeah. So we're going to hand out a few of these. There you go, Randy. Thank you, sir. Now, is this you or is this just a sticker? That's not my personal name. I'm Brent. That's the name of our YouTube channel and our shop. That's what I wanted to have. There you go. Good stuff. Well, thanks for chatting with us, Randy. No problem. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. That's the norm here. You meet really cool folks willing to chat, having a good time doing their thing. I saw this a little bit earlier. I had a few minutes to cruise through the, the swap meet. Here's some, some earlier, I don't know, 77s or something, but look how thick those are. That's really desirable. These aren't going to warp as bad as thin wall cylinders and pistons. So. They made them sturdy when they were a little bit smaller. Now our best bet is probably 92 thick walls, which are kind of a whole thing, but yeah, kind of cool seeing the old stuff and where the design came from. Give us something to compare when we start seeing slip-ins and stuff, right? Those are really, really thin compared to those earlier uh, cylinders. Ooh, see some pretty stainless steel exhaust up here. Look at that. It's gorgeous. That's some serious stuff right there. Mr. Matthews, I'm afraid to ask the price on this one. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look at a few cars. We haven't even gotten to the show. And there's a couple of splitties hanging out, three splitties hanging out right here. Kind of a pinky salmon color on this one. 11 window. Let's take a look at the front of that. Sparkle paint on the way. Got the safaris. That's pretty. The middle seat. We've got a passenger just ready. Not going to miss their ride. <laughs> Have a good one. I think I recognize this one. I think this is affiliated with our friends, the Dune Buggy Brothers. Michael Shores and crew up there in Amelia Island out these stickers this weekend fun group of folks and they found some interesting ways to support the hobby having a show for a while doing a drive through the woods now building buggies fixing engines you can look up Michael Shores on Facebook if you have some VW service needs I think he is available to help you out Say hi to the Poochie. <laughs> Lots of dogs today and loving it. Since I drove over, I didn't be bring uh, Tig and, and Rody. They're chilling out at the house today. Another downside of not camping this weekend. That's all right. We're happy to be here. Here's a notchback. We don't always see notchbacks, so we gotta gotta point them out when we do see them. I think I saw this car yesterday and it's gorgeous. Back up a little bit so you can see some more. Pretty notch back. Cool, now straight ahead, we're gonna work our way kind of to the water's edge here just so you get a peek at the setting. If you've never been here, this is a really pretty area. It's the city center in Port Orange, Florida. <laughs> like 
just a beautiful setting. And there's a loop, this road here in front of us, that goes all the way around it. Let me give you a look at kind of the layout of the land here and where we're going to be going. This is a memorial area over here, so that's why you don't see any cars set up there. We stay off of that, but the rest of it is absolutely packed with cars. And panning over to the right, we're going to be in front of that building. Remind me to look for a car with 671 written on it. A gentleman, I think named Randy, uh, pointed it out to us. Uh, and it has a supercharger. So we got to look for that when we get to the building. But we're going to be going over this way too. In fact, I'll just, I'll take you along this little stroll here. So you can kind of get the feel of the setting. And back over to the left. It goes way over there. We are parked right about there. So we'll get to see Dweezil today. Drove Dweezil over yesterday and today. Dweezil is doing great. The temperatures are good practical numbers. I've got a cylinder head temp gauge in it and cruising at 55 miles an hour, I was at about 375 degrees on the cylinder head temp. That's about 210 degrees oil temp. I think I see some fish. Yeah, I see a lot of fish in the pond. I don't know if it's coming through or not, but yeah, I just scared them away. There's some big fish in there. Uh, oil pressure, once it was warmed up to 210, was about 32 PSI. And my vacuum at cruise was about 10 inches, if you follow vacuum numbers. And I am practically happy with those. The engine seems really comfortable right now. So it's in a, it's probably in the prime of its life and we'll see, see how it behaves going on. Hey Serge, good to see you. Good car. I don't know if that's directed at Dweezil or one of the many, many, many great cars that we see here. But I'm sure I agree. Hello. Yeah, gotta take a look at this thing. Kind of Acapulco colors but without being an Acapulco. It's the right year for it. Hey Bryant, how you doing? Do I own an apocalypse vehicle like these? <laughs> if being an air-cooled VW makes it an apocalypse vehicle, I'd have to say yes times two, three rather. <laughs> I have the 68 Beetle that we're driving these days. I have the 13 window 67 splitty bus that we call uh, Project Mandemic from a few years ago. And we haven't seen it on the channel much, but I have a 68 double cab that's extremely rusty and uh, needs a lot of attention. So a qualified yes. Neat hubcaps. We did that to the Project Vandemics hubcaps. Gave it a nice glossy paint paint job. This is an early car. 54 through something, I think, with the oval window. After the split window beetles and before the big rectangular windows that we all know. Tough looking car. With those Jeep tires on it, like Army Jeep tires. James, today we are in Port Orange, Florida. And I'm in the Central Florida area over close to Orlando. Look at this, we got Vanigans all back through here. Let me just run you through for funsies here. It looks like they're just camping back here. directly through their setup but we got some folks enjoying themselves it's cool 1200 61 beetle there you go hey how you doing it's my buddy lance fisher how are you good seeing y'all <laughs> y'all having a good day Buying and buying, so you're over in the swaps. Hey, yeah, uh, doing good. Good to see you. Ah, <laughs> oh, check this out. That's some nostalgia there. 
All right, do a kick flip. Let's see you do an ollie. Ain't hitting the floor. It's gotta be on the display. Slide the rail. <laughs> So for our late May fans, here's a pretty one. Really well done. Looks like they have fun with it. Oh, and a DACA. Super cool looking uh, bus or Vanagon. Orange Julius is its name. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, we've gained some folks. It's good to see y'all with us. Thanks for joining us. Let me know what you'd like to see more of, less of, or just enjoy what we're doing. Hey, there's Jerry. How you doing? The blaster effect. <laughs> good to see you, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's pretty. A 60. Look at the toolbox. Is that, I don't know, a toolbox or a divider? I don't know. It's pretty, though. Got a peek inside, the interior, look at the seats. What is an Alibaba and a fly on the wall? Sounds like a riddle that I'm not gonna figure out. <laughs> this gentleman has given us the tech rundown. What do you see? <laughs> Said an electric fuel pump in there, yeah? Yeah, there's a little bit of money in it. Big carbs, pretty paint on the cooling tins. I think we can approve of this one. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. Yes, sir. Yeah, we'll scoot back across the road. I don't know how to pronounce that. Well, I'm sure it's significant. Look at that steering wheel in there. Nothing cooler than a VW in motion. Get a chance to hear it and a pretty single cab coming behind. Nice. And not so VW, but still fun. See a lot of mini bikes at these shows. I worry a little bit about some kind of a catastrophe with so much motion around the cars, but I cannot think of a single instance where it's been an issue. So all's well that ends well. People sure do enjoy them and it's fun to see them. Got lots of stickers on this one here. I got you, Bryant. Yeah, there's there's still electronics, but not the computers that you're talking about, so I'd agree with that. If something like that should ever happen, they'd be the only thing running. That and a Model A, I guess. <laughs> now, I've probably disqualified myself from that category. Uh, here's, here's our buddy Jim's bus. We see him a lot, and it's beautiful every time. There he is back there. Hey, how you doing, Jim? <laughs> Good to see you. But I use electronic points. I, I prefer that. But uh, probably a good idea to carry around an old set of points anyway. Right. Let's take a peek inside. We're going to take a peek. Okay, now we're going to get in and drive away. <laughs> oh, bummer. <laughs> Beautiful as always. Take care. <laughs> Good to see you too, Jim. Hey, it's Jeff. Check out Jeff Berman. Yeah, I'm gonna be out here for a while. He's he's very busy, very busy man. Excuse me. <laughs> Check him out on Instagram. Some of the coolest arty photography that you're gonna see at these car shows. Excuse me, sorry. But you gotta check him out on Instagram, Jeff Berman. How you doing, buddy? I am good. This is my buddy Jeff. Taking some good pictures? Trying to, yeah. What's your favorite car so far? Oh, I fall in love every time I 
<laughs> every time I come across something. There's that's, so many cars here, it's, it's hard to pick a favorite. Indeed, that's that's how that goes. Yeah. Oh, um, make sure I'm getting it right. Your Instagram handle is Jeffrey Berman. Jeffrey Allen Berman. Jeffrey Allen Berman on Instagram. On Instagram. Very cool. They'll yeah. check you out. All right. <laughs> Good Thank seeing you, you Jeff. Good Do your thing. You. <laughs> Take care. Yep. In tow to no -do. Seeing more and more Vanagons, which is great. The bigger the hobby gets, the more stuff like this we can do. We've said it before, but we are really fortunate here in Florida. Look at that chrome bumper on this early bay. 60, 71 with the big emblem. We would expect disc brakes up front on a 71. Yeah, we just have a thriving scene here in Central Florida. South Florida as well. We got Volks Blast down there. And have several really big shows and then even more small shows that happen really year round. It gets a little uncomfortable after this time of year until about late, late October or so. But we do it anyway. So this is this is a new one. We have a for sale sign for a different bus. This one's blue. The one for sale is yellow and white. Oh, excuse me. Not bad. And Brian says it's it's cool that you recognize a lot of the faces in this community. Yeah, you know the coolest thing is they they come up and say hi to me. <laughs> that makes a guy feel good. <laughs> and I'd, I'd go to them, of course, but just seeing your friends and recognizing each other and kept picking up where you left off the last time, that's a really cool part of, of these shows. I could argue maybe the most important part. Got a cool rig over here, a late Beetle with a little Coleman trailer. We'll probably run into them at some point, but our buddy VW Jawbreaker took a trailer a lot like this and converted it into a camper, which I've seen him use on a number of occasions, and it is a sweet, sweet setup. Check out his multiple videos that he's done earlier this year on his camper setup to see how he did it and some of the outings that he's gone on with it. But just making it work. We all do it a little different. Here's my buddy Jamie. Best dressed man in showbiz right there. <laughs> Good to see you. Single cab splitty. So 63 or later, the Friday turn signals. I had a chance to buy one kind of in this condition years ago for about $2,000. You would not get this for that now. So as late as a 66, no reverse lights. It's a clean dash on a late bay and the proper plaid interior. In college, I didn't know what it was, but yeah. somebody gave me a Z bed, this contraption back here. And it was the, these colors, it was the green plaid I, I just knew it was associated with a VW. That was before I was in VWs, probably just before. And made it, like, made a frame for it, and that was the couch in the dorm room for a while. <laughs> Here's some folks ready for camping. Sometimes you see a fridge right here. You got a little extra space. Very important. Take your tools with you. <laughs> Half the fun is getting home. You gotta listen to these folks too, you know. They'll be heard. Cool splitty. <laughs> There's one of those surprises we're looking for. <laughs> so, okay, we are not to the big building yet, but there's an area back here that has a bunch of vendors, new vendors and food vendors. 
I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one we used for our um, our thumbnail for today's live stream. So we saw this yesterday over at Giuseppe's, and the lighting was decent. So we snapped a shot. Hello. Now we got to see it in the wild here at the show. Cool car. Here is a late bay double cab. You do not see many of those. That is a nice one. A little lowered, ready for the drive-in. Look at that tiny little steering wheel in there. I mean, it's sweet looking. We've got big biceps. Cool, let me give you a quick look at the vendor's area. Another notch back, folks. Thanks everyone once again for joining us. We're very happy to have you with us. Well, you know, I want to show you the vendors over there, but I just keep seeing cool stuff. <laughs> Super Beetle. Right, more trunk space in a Super Beetle because of the McPherson strut front end that they use instead of the beam. I've never owned or driven a Super Beetle, but what they say is when they're right, they're great, and when they're not, look out. You hear the term death wobble associated with <laughs> Super Beetle in this repair. Some dual carbs on this notchback. Hey, I like that, a generator. I usually go for stuff like that. Like Nobody wants them. Everybody wants an alternator. I've never had a lack of power for what I do with my cars, so a 30 amp generator suits me, and they're everywhere. They're inexpensive. So I'll go ahead, put the bearings and the brushes in it, and shout out to Annie's VW. She showed us all how to rewind one, which is really cool. I'm looking forward to replicating her results someday if I can. So yeah, I kind of like generators. Got a few alternators laying around. We'll play with those too. Like this person here. Nothing wrong with stock. There's safety in that. There we go. We can get behind that. Keep them on the road. Nice car. Hey, there he is. How you doing? These are my buddies. Not swapping today. You're, no, no, you're a swapper. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. what you got? Uh, some early model uh, headlight rings and a child cut. Nice, nice. Which bus does that go in? A bay? This is a bay. Yeah, bay. Nice. <laughs> well, very good, man. Good running into you. Good thing. See you. Yeah. Y'all take care. I think I ate at Island Ties last year, if I remember right. But yeah, so here's all the vendors. Got some new parts down here, it looks like. Quick look and we'll get back to the cars. I think our Just Bugging friends are back here as well, somewhere. Yeah, there you go, got all the new parts over there. I think these folks sell running engines too. Uh, this is a, one of our local friends, makes some super cool custom uh, accessories and replacement parts to really dress up your bug. It's nicer than, than I think would fit in my car. But look at those cup holders, isn't that cool? It's got some beautiful steering wheels. GACP if you want to check them out. Let me take a quick look. Yeah, VACP is what you're looking for. If you want to check out some of his wares, he's got some super nice stuff. Very good. Hey y'all, how you doing? Good, good. Yeah, good to see you, Jeff. Yeah, likewise. It's Type 4 Revolution. You want to chat with us for a minute? He's in the wild. Yeah, we'll get Jeff on here. 
right. Good to see you, man. Hey, likewise. Yeah, so what? Welcome to New I Dead, saw man. you in the orange one, right? Yes. Same one that you took to Westy. the V Dub Getaway. And Bug Jam. And Bug Jam. And nice. And South Carolina's Orangeburg um, <laughs> event coming up next weekend. Nice. Yeah, at the drag strip in nice. Orangeburg, South Carolina. Very Looked good. Up in Nisi, South Carolina. What you carrying around here? You been in the swaps? I've been in the swaps. And I got a. This guy has an eye to get like that, that diamond I've in never the rough. Heard that before, but, <laughs> but yeah, that's the fuel tank door lock. Very cool. For those couple models, there's like two different versions. Of it. Good stuff. If you find these, you found some gold because they're not reproducing them. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's the non the non reproduced item. Get the ideas, Envy. <laughs> So Jeff does amazing work on Type 4s and everything, really. So check him out, Type 4 Revolution, on Instagram. Yes. Awesome. Good running yes, into you. It. Drive safe on your way back up north. <laughs> Take care. Oh, look at this war road warrior over here. Hey, Jerry says he made it. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> I'm not sure that that would pass the British MOT, but... We're a few miles from there, so I think we're in a good shape. <laughs> How y'all doing? Cool old bus. A double cab. Early double cab. How you doing? Cool matching roof rack on it as well. Oh man, the food smells good. I'm going to be so hungry. <laughs> All right, we kind of sashayed past a lot of this, so... We're going to take a look from this angle. Got some Gia's and some Beetles. Nice and shady. We still have that cool breeze. We've been here before just sweating like crazy and it's worth it. But today we don't even have to bother with that. Everybody's comfortable. Shorts and t-shirts. Here's a bus that warrants repeating. Look at this thing it is ready we were talking about emps a little bit earlier and when it hits the fan kind of vehicles this one's ready it's got the dometic penguin ac unit up there he's got at least 400 watts of solar i see a water heater that black plastic there right that'd be a solar water heater pressurized by the height so we'd have a little bit of water pressure excuse me Got his farm jack on there. Look at this awning situation. Try and get it all in frame here without tripping over stuff. Cool, cool build. I think he has a Subi motor in there. I mean, this is going to be a lot of weight. You can see it kind of runs a little heavy with all the, uh, the facilities that he has built into it. But really a neat, realized concept. You got to commit sometimes <laughs> and go all in. You don't know it's going to turn out this good until you're done. So you just pick a direction and you go. That's definitely evident here. How you doing? <laughs> there's our, there's the, the master behind the whole thing right there. Great bus. <laughs> so for the engine junkies, sometimes it's just cool to hear one of these things run. We have a fast back. That is for sale, and I'll just hush for a second so you can hear it idle. Good times. For sale if you're interested. We all know that when we're in public somewhere and we hear a bug, everything stops. In an environment like this, of course, it's overload. You get to hear that a lot. It's what you expect, but just out doing errands or something, you hear somebody in their VW, you can say something good happened that day. <laughs> it's a mean looking rail. My goodness, we gotta check out the engine. Check it out. Is this yours? Yep. You wanna talk about it on the live stream? Nope. Nope, <laughs> fair enough, I'll leave you alone. But beautiful rail, man. All dialed up. Look at that. We got a Type One in here. 
It's a 36 horse looking shroud, but he does have the doghouse back here. Probably gonna need it for all those cubes. It says it's a 2276. Our buddy Frank Falone has a 2276 for sale. If you wanna look him up on Facebook, there's one ready for your car. Also has a 1915 and an 1835 ready. I think he's building a couple of 1641s. Oh, I don't know if you could keep up with this guy, but you could have some fun. <laughs> mean looking rail. Good stuff. All right, so some of our friends from Melbourne, if you can make it out on the flag there. How you doing? Cool early bay from Melbourne. Okay, let's look at something. Let's take inventory. Okay, yeah. Mm hmm. I don't know. There's probably some room in there. We'll see if they choose to put one on. Absolutely. <laughs> Have a good day, sir. You too. Got the icebox garage. It doesn't get cooler than this. <laughs> That's cool. 1970. Last year, drum breaks on the early bays. I think they had boosters that year. Drums with boosters. Kind of an incremental progress they made over the years. I'm gonna come down by the water here. See an artsy thing. Let's see if I can get you in some better light. Go ahead, you're good, thank you. Lots of detail in this thing. It's a 73. I don't know if you call that pinstripe or just painted or what, but that's neat. And matching flowers. How you doing? Good, sir. Uh, check this out. Nice trailer on a splitty camper. Let's see if I can do this without falling into the water. It's right behind me. That'd be fun. <laughs> Thanks again, everyone, for joining us. Feel free to chat with me or each other in the chat. Love to see interaction. Or if you just want to sit back and enjoy yourself, whatever works for you is good for me. Good to have you with us one way or the other. That's a early bay. I think I hear a, a public announcement passing by. That might be our <laughs> our organizer. Getting the word out about something happening at noon. It may be the limbo contest. Nice westy late bay. Just about can't go wrong with any of these folks. Give you a look at the activity here. Lots of folks all the way around the lake. Hello. Some of them like to chat with us on camera and some of them I just try and give them room. They need to enjoy their day too, being the weird guy running around with the camera. Not everybody's favorite thing, so we try to be respectful of that too. Got a few parts over here. So this would be a 68 IRS. We're looking at the acorn nuts. I think that went away in 69. And that's of course for a bay, an early bay. I have a couple of those, one of which came with my 68 double cast. Got vendors everywhere. I like these campers. Look at the flip top thingy. A little bit different. I don't know on a technical level whether that's desirable or not, but it's cool and it's different. Neat camper. <laughs> and look at the space this guy has. Like, wouldn't you just want to hang out just like this all weekend long? Chances are he got here early. 
not really my thing, but a lot of folks get their parking spot when it's still dark. Like they're showing up at, I don't even know, because I don't get here at that time. But, <laughs> but they show up really early. Our buddy Gary, VW, VW Jawbreaker, could tell you more about getting up early. That's his habit. He comes and helps with parking. And he can tell us all about when the good spots are gone. It's a long time before I get here, but that's all right. I'm always just happy to, to be here at all. And well rested. <laughs> nicer, nicer person when I'm well rested, so try to make that the habit. <laughs> so our friend, Mr. Matthews, wanted to know prices. That's hard to beat. Five dollars for a fan tram. Matthew, you are welcome. Thanks for joining us. That would be a, an earlier non-doghouse fan trout, but if that's what you're building, that's an original. That's what you want. Some IDFs or Delordo base plates for the air filter, I think. I'm just now getting into dual carbs and exploring all of that and learning about the parts, but there's all air, air filter stuff for that and maybe for a progressive. Been playing around with some of those too. Look at this. This would match the fan shroud. So this is probably um, a single relief case with that small oil cooler on it. I see a lot of H cases. I don't see a letter here. It's got a lot of the parts you'd need if you're looking for a budget build. Let's see a uh, six millimeter stud, so definitely an earlier case. A lot of people shy away from those. I think that explains the price, but if you're just building a stalker, I ain't scared. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> Good to see you. Hello. Nice. A little bit of liquidation. So, okay, we're near the building now. We're looking for a vehicle that says 671 on it and has a supercharger. Beautiful white and yellow splitty. Oh, and again with the matching flowers. I'm in a crowd that knows how to decorate. Like I'm not even qualified to say that. I wouldn't know what matched if it came up and bit me, but <laughs> good to see people doing fun things and creative things with their setups. How you doing? Super cool setup. Look at the flower pattern on, on that, uh, the, the other chair there, the other folding chair. Hello! <laughs> Love it. It's great. The gentleman having a good time and a nice, nice setup. Another early Bay West. Here's a Super Beetle. This is I think everybody watching probably knows this, but that's our telltale sign when we see the vents down there. Earlier ones had the flat windshield, later ones had a curvy windshield, giving you another way to recognize it. We'll see if we can point that out just for funsies. How you doing? Good, how are you? Great, thank you. Wow, that thing's pretty. Look at that red. I bet that car got wiped down after it was here. And it's up for grabs. Yeah. Late Beetle here. There you go. Oh, Jerry, did I pass you up? Man, you got to flag me down. I'd, I'd be happy to come over and say hey. Another beautiful red car. This one looks familiar. I wonder if this is our Riverbanks Customs friends. It sure looks like it. We had a chat with them. They're out of Alabama, do amazing work. We talked with them at the VW getaway. So whether this is their car or not, you can check out Riverbank Customs. A couple of really cool guys run that. 
uh, a labor of love for sure. They do amazing work. All right, so let's mingle back here. There's a whole other side to this building, so we'll look through here and then we'll go over to the other side. Oh, hey. <laughs> Let me show you something right quick. I'm gonna go up to the, can you see me there? Kind of, sort of. This is our tagged product here, our new Haptic Garage shirt. We've still got the old one with the, the big logo uh, on the back. I'm looking to do pocket tees because that's what I always wear. But I like this vintage font. So we made up a few of these. There's a, a link somewhere uh, on the, the view page there. If you're interested in a Haptic Garage shirt, there's a good look at it. Not the best model, but it's what I can do. <laughs> I think we found it, folks. I haven't seen the 671, but I see the supercharger. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I'm going to come around to the other side <laughs> and get better light over there. Oh, yeah. Excellent ventilation on our single. <laughs> How you doing? Good, good. good. That's, the one. That's the one. This is Randy. Yeah, you want to be on the live stream? Talk to us about it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, very good. We got him Without mid you. mid snack here, but yeah. thanks. <laughs> yeah, free, free snack. There you go. All right, tell us about your project. Mikey, Mikey. Um, so it started out as a. Uh, beetle that I was going to tow behind my motorhome uh -huh. and I bought it and took it to the body shop to uh, have it painted. It turned out the thing was just Swiss cheese and uh, <laughs> the body shop I took to it, you know, prolonged the project for two years. I ended up buying a new body for it and I ended up taking the whole thing back in a, in a truck because he didn't, he never finished it. So I was going to sell it, couldn't, you know, no one wanted to buy it in pieces. So I sat for a while, and then uh, all of a sudden at a car show, I saw the wide white walls for sale. Mm -hmm. I said, well, those are cool. I'll, I'll, I'll put that's them on a, a car. Five on four and a half pattern. That's yeah. like a domestic car pattern. Right. That's what I was going to put them on, but they were too big for the car I was going to put them on. <laughs> so I said, what am I going to do with these tires? So, Let's uh, go up and get a closer look. <laughs> <laughs> I get back to the boat, so I said, well, you, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I could adapt them to this old Volkswagen that and I got two body two Volkswagens I'm trying to make one so a friend of mine who does metal work um, got together I put the tires on the car and took it to him and then he, he he does custom metal work and so he came up with a lot of the ideas on it and I kind of expounded on them you know I just uh, kept on adding to it and adding <laughs> to it and adding to it and it, it uh, it, it turned out to be what it is. Uh, the, the good thing about the car was when I bought it, the engine was perfect, the interior was perfect, but the body was terrible. So I just had it, you know, uh, we actually built the car around the tires. That's that's how it was built. There you go. With the <laughs> you got to have on, a starting said, point, what, right? What can we do to make this car look cool? So <laughs> we, we, we cut down the fenders of, uh, of the good one that I bought and adapted those onto the big tires and then at first there was like just like a four barrel carburetor on the hood. I said, that's pretty cool, but it just doesn't make a big enough statement. You, you can see where you're going too well. Who would want that? Yeah, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody thinks that... that Curved uh, window Super Beetle we were looking for too. <laughs> everybody <laughs> thinks that, uh, you know, it, it's a, a big, you know, uh, you know, interference with the driving and it's actually not that bad i surprised myself even because i thought oh, it's going to be terrible to drive but they're very <laughs> very little blind spots uh believe it or not i, I don't know if i got if uh law enforcement would agree with me on that but uh it, it really it really isn't bad to drive well, they, they haven't right. stopped you yet not not yet no <laughs> and then uh, the last thing i well then after we did that you know, a guy gave me a, a tractor seat and i said what? it was on a I said, what am I going to do with that? So I ended up buying a trailer hitch and uh, we, we fabricated that for the rear with the steering wheel, found a mannequin and then uh, <laughs> got the Jim Dandy, you know, for the back and GPS and I 
<laughs> it just kind of developed from there. It's, it's like uh, one of those safety semis. They can see what's in front of you on the screen, right? Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's for him, you know. So. And it's finally connected for me the significance of 671. Yeah. That's, 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 that's the that's, number of the charger, the supercharger. That, that's it, yeah. And that what that is, I found that that's a place that makes mock up uh, engine blocks when you're building a car. Mm -hmm. And they also make a mock up of a, of a supercharger. That's it's actually plastic. So I, I, I got that <laughs> and two, two four That's suspension on it. friendly. And, and then, yeah, yeah, I was going to put a regular uh, uh, air intake on it. It just looked too fancy for the car. So I, I found that's an antique uh, fire extinguisher from a woman's, all women's <laughs> fire uh, station in New York. Nice. It's a genuine, um, so found that, we cut out the bottom of it, that turned into the air intake for the carburetors. So <laughs> that's a uh, work in progress. That's awesome. It's, it's pretty well done. Of course, we're still rear engine in this car, but we have all the looks of a V8 swap. Yep, that's it. That's well, killer. Heard, people do ask me, oh, I do have one more thing that, that yeah, yeah. out of the video, I, I have a sound effects for a, a, a blower search. Make it go. I, well, it's, uh, it's in the, uh, <laughs> make it out. Got a rat here on the dash, just to complete the motif. <laughs> we'll hear our blower motor, then we'll take a look around the corner. Oh, we have a system to set up here. It's going to be worth it, I know. <laughs> well, there it is. This is his neighbor here with the single cab. We have a new Beetle in motion. Project needs work. A little bit, yeah. A few, a few of those funky green panels from Gerson, maybe, in order. What you do is you cut off the VIN plate and order all the funky green panels. There you go. <laughs> I'll take one of everything, please. <coughs> there you are. I, I used to work with a post office as a mechanic, and uh, we rebuilt one that was in a wreck from the VIN plate. <laughs> we drilled off the VIN plate, and then we pulled the engine, which was still good, the transmission was still good, but the body, it had been hit by, I want to say, a truck. And it was, everything was bad. The frame was bad, everything. So we started it can be done. And we, you know, it's all riveted together. Nice. You know, I mean, a little white nail truck. Yeah. yeah. And we had every single part that we needed to build another truck just to spin plate. That's cool. Thank you, Randy. I've seen cars that, yes, sir. I've seen cars that sound like that, and they're just trying to pull into a spot. And they're, boop, they're chirping the tires every time that it, <laughs> that's what it's for, just coming into a show. Yeah. And that's the only time I use it. It's, 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 it's <laughs> you gotta have that's cool. Stuff. Well, thanks for chatting right. with us today. Take care. You Thank have you. a great Appreciate one. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's fun. It, it attracted a crowd. I don't know if it came through on video or not, but big attention getter. Now we just need some bottle rockets to be set off or something. We'll, we'll be complete. <laughs> All right, fun folks at the V-Dub shows. We got a good crowd with us today. Thanks for joining us. You know, one year we were here, it was so hot. <laughs> I had to go hide in this space because my phone just shut down. It just overheated and shut down. So we just chilled out for a little bit and resumed. But don't have that problem today. We have a pretty setting and great weather. Okay, coming around the corner, see some folks on this side of the building. The facilities folks here doing their thing. Have a pretty Gia over here. My spidey senses are telling me that we may end up seeing a 356 don't hold me to it but we saw one yesterday so it stands to reason that it would be here as well 
Oh, I'm smelling people's grills and it's making me hungry again. All loaded up. Hood ride. Wow, indeed. The Lucky Lure. We did a short with this bus from the Samford VW show in January. We need to get back into doing those shorts. That was a lot of fun. They're, speaking of bottle rockets, that's kind of what shorts are like to a YouTube channel. <laughs> they take off after about 30 minutes or so for our channel anyway and uh, rack up a ton of views and then just kind of disappears <laughs> but it's a lot of fun we i think we find new people that way so maybe you can you can confirm or deny that for me that maybe you found haptic garage from some shorts that you saw a few months ago one of the shorts or a few of them was about uh, a Trin Jaeger cold saw. This may not be a familiar tool to a lot of us, but it's like a giant chop saw, industrial style chop saw. I've got that thing working, had to fabricate a part for it, and I am editing the video presently. Of course, I'm way behind on all of that, but we haven't given up on the long form content. In fact, I still consider that more than live streams, more than shorts be the bread and butter we'll do these things as we're able this is cool cool little details look at the visor awesome work Nice little pickup bed. That's kind of a Model A pickup look to it. Yeah, he's proud of that windshield. We just built that last. That's awesome. Oh, he's got the safari yeah. <laughs> on it as well. I didn't even notice the first time around. Nice. Just in case you need a little more air. Right. <laughs> Y'all enjoy your lunch. Thank you. This is a. Uh, a three window Ford inspired Beetle over here. An air cooled gasser, it says on the back. <laughs> nice, just somebody doing their thing. Making it look good. Really fancy looking trike here. Look at the rake on that thing. Is this yours? It's beautiful. Nice strike. Thanks for bringing it out today. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> We're going to take a look at the front up here. And it's, oh, folks, it's up for grabs. You like sitting back there? Biketoberfest is coming up in six months. <laughs> That's sleek. I had a math teacher in high school that drove one of these rabbit pickup trucks. That was the only one in the parking lot. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool looking. Look at the louvered deck lid. Kind of a satin. How you doing, man? Love it. Looks great. chat with these good folks over in the swap meet a little bit earlier. Did I give you a sticker, sticker okay, earlier? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna just a few no worries. Just want to make sure I gave you one. <laughs> Y'all drive safe today. Good meeting you too. All right. Sounds good. I think they're our friends from uh, San Augustine. A little bit of a drive up I-95 today. That's cool. It's a, oh yeah, it's something to do with the oiling. Maybe that's an early filter setup. I don't know. Maybe y'all can tell me. It's this blue canister that I'm looking at there. It goes down next to the oil pressure port. I 
This is something I say about Dweezil sometimes. It's a flex fuel. Oh, thank you, Jerry. Appreciate that. Fun beetle. Oh, look at this, a Carmen Mobile. We saw a polished aluminum variant. It was a early bay, but it was unique. It had to have been home built, but kind of a, a class C rendition of a VW motor home. Makes it a little wider, which would be helpful in a motor home situation. Hey there, how you doing? It says Dirk from Texas, good to see you, man. You even have an awning up there. They are all set, ready to go cross country. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a little stroll down the sidewalk. Still absolutely surrounded by cars. I'm gonna veer off to the right for a moment. We have something kind of unique over here. This is a Brasilia. We started seeing those over the last two or three years. Worthy of a detour to give everybody a look at this one. This one's lowered, a little narrowed it appears. I'll walk out to the street and try not to get hit here. Pretty car. Thank you, John, I really appreciate that. Happy to do it. Happy to share this with everybody. Brazilian. Hey, it's an upright engine. I'm not sure I'd previously realized that, but that's pretty cool. Not like a pancake type three, right? An upright engine in there. Dual carbs. How you doing? How you doing? Is this your car? Yes, sir. Yeah, you chat with us about it? Sure. Yeah, so what we saw, it's a Brasilia. What else can you tell us about it? It's a Brazilian. It's <laughs> has an upright engine. We picked that out. It's it's culmination of type one, type three. So it has a type one beam. It's all a type three rear. Um, I converted it to type one rear drums so that I could run the four trip wheels. Um, I mean, what else do you want to know? Uh, what year is it's it? It's a 77. Oh, 77. That's later than I would have guessed. That's yeah. pretty cool. I, yeah, you know, the dash kind of gives it away. That's a later dash for sure. Maybe they were transitioning a little bit. Yeah, they I saw the end of the days of the Beetle. You could see sort of some rabbit influence and stuff, I think. Mm -hmm. That's fair yeah. to say. Hey, you drive it every day? Eh, but I'm down here. I leave it here. We're, we're back and forth between here and Pennsylvania. Oh, cool. All right. So, yeah, so you're probably about ready to head back up that way, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, next week. Yeah, next good week. for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one night, last cool weekend here, yeah. and then time for some of those Pennsylvania checks. Are we live? We are, is, yeah. Is Slade on here? Is he, he may be watching. Okay. Yeah, right. our buddy well, Slade, we're, we're also not, up in Pennsylvania. Right. He's exactly. not far from me, so. Yeah, I think okay. I recognize you. Have you been yeah. on his... Yeah. Actually, let me give you that. Thank you, sir. And if you would pass one or two to Slade for me. I would. Slade and Heather. There no you go. Problem. Let me give you another one there. No problem. We appreciate it. Small world. It is a small world. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, sir. That's awesome. So, yeah, if you have you got to know Slade's VW, but if you haven't, <laughs> check them out. <laughs> We're chatting with one of his friends you guys down here. One, Florida. You did it last year or your prior work? There was a bunch of you live, right? We did. Okay. Yeah, and it was this show. That's it right. Was, it was, was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, our buddy Rob Stapleton handled it. Right. So that's where the video lives, is on Rob Stapleton's channel. Okay. But we had Slade, we had Gary, VW Jawbreaker, mm -hmm. we had Matt Jackson from yep. VW Life. Um, and we had Jason from JW Classic VW, and I think Ryan Lothar made an appearance as well. Oh, really? Like it was just a party. It was crazy. That's cool. <laughs> it Ryan, was a good time. Ryan did the uh, Winnebago, correct? Ryan, yes. Okay. Yeah, the slam, okay. absolutely yeah. slam. Yeah, still in progress, yep. but okay. he's gonna do it. Yeah. That guy's a wizard. <laughs> What's your name again? Sean Russo. John. Yes, we, oh, yeah. we know each other. Yeah, of course yeah, we do. Yeah. Very good. All right. Yeah. It's the hat. It's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> if that, you have any questions, let me know. I mean, all feel right. Free to yeah. Open it, do whatever you want. Let me right, check in with chat here. Uh, Jerry says, uh, oh. I need a sticker. Okay. Yeah, we can get you a sticker. You can catch up with me. But awesome. All right. John Prince. Yeah, you. I didn't realize you were from Pennsylvania. Yeah. 
That's we're cool. back and forth, so. I don't blame you. It's, it's fine, George. <laughs> if you want to open it and do whatever you want, feel free. Oh, it's good. We're, right. we're enjoying it just like it is. All right. Thank Have you. a great day. You too. <laughs> That's awesome. So Slade, if you're watching, yeah, we have a mutual friend. Isn't that cool? Got some stickers headed your way, Slade. There's another splitty, a 13 window. No, fit, no, 13, fit, yeah, 13. <laughs> Y'all tell me. I think if we had corner windows, it'd be 15. So that'll be a 63 through 66. And another early bay. Hello. And we're guessing a 71 on this one with the flat hubcaps and the disc brakes underneath. There you go. One mile at a time. And a survivor thing. The Sunshine 74. Front plate is a giveaway, but the scoops showed up. These air scoops back here showed up in 74. Things are, we found it. well, they're, just, they're um, kind of a, a thing unto themselves, no pun intended. This one's got some upgrades on it, but they use different air filters in here, these big tall things with a, uh, an arrangement similar to a bus. And somebody educated us a little bit at the Lakeland show about an AM case, I believe, that had some some significant differences meant just for a thing. So the folks that are into those cars are just full of awesome trivia that is unique to that model. And you know, they didn't make a ton of them. Cool, they got the little metal thing. I finally got on board with that. We were talking about this over at Lakeland, this little whoop de doo here. If any fuel shows up here, we don't want it to come down here and deteriorate the diaphragm in that vacuum advance. So, got someone else that knows better. I like it. Okay, we'll take a walk down the sidewalk again. Hello. How you doing? Good, good. We got a pretty poochie. This is my other boat wagon. Checking some stuff out, <laughs> doing their business. <laughs> We're all family, it's fine. Doing all right? Doing okay. Good all to right. see you, man. Yes, sir. You too. We have a hard-working early bay. Well, that's interesting. So this is the reverse light on the top. And this one is red. I don't know if there's something to that or it just happens to be that way. But one of what I would expect both to be reverse lights is a red lens. Maybe we just needed a lens and that's what we had. A high top, love the high tops. Some of us could stand up inside there. Cool. Next to a late bay. Not exactly level sites, but they're making it work. Oh, here's our buddy, Jeff Rowe. He won worst of show. <laughs> That's a good thing. Worst of show at the Concord de Le Mons in Amelia Island this year with a uh, gonk, either gonk or gronk, but a, uh, a boonie bug. It was a, a home built, turned out they were really rare because no one built them, but a home built VW car based on a splitty bus chassis. You could check out the Concord de Le Mans video where Jeffro has featured quite a bit in it, talking about his car and uh, taking the win for worst to show. Fun, fun group that puts on those events and the 24 hours of lemons. You gotta take a look at that square back, right? Our buddy Alan and his wife Alex. So this is Alex's car here. And our buddy Alan's Baja here. Y'all are good, thank you. Love hanging out with these folks. The good people have a sweet, sweet black lab.
Here they are. Probably don't want to be on camera, but I'll do it anyway. How you guys doing? <laughs> Fine in the shade. There you go. You enjoying the show so far? Yeah, good Very good. Good running into you. I'll leave you alone. Oh, here she is. Oh my god. Did you get anything in the swaps? Oh yeah. A couple things. She's hanging out, doing her thing. Guys, we're gonna visit over there again. We'll probably drag something home. There you go. <laughs> Y'all take care. She got me. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> Another fasty. Yeah, swing around this one here. How you doing? Is this your car? Yeah. It's great. You want to talk about it on a live stream? Don't worry about it. That's fine. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thanks for bringing it out today. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Let's get a look inside and leave you alone. Bye. Bye, Bob. Nice meeting you. Bye, CB. Nice. Thank you, sir. Have a good yeah. one. Yeah, no worries. Here. Yeah. All right. Have a good one. Yeah. Cool. See some Vista view windows on this one. Sometimes I think we jump to conclusions, but it sure looks cool. How you doing? Good. What's up, man? Not much. Good to see you. Oh, it's a pretty bus. How you doing? Doing okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Is this your car? Oh, nice. You mind talking to us about it on the live stream? Or, uh... Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah, what's your name? Eric. Eric? Nice to meet you, Eric. I'm Brent. So tell us about your bus. We see a bunch of windows up there. Yeah, yeah, 21 window. Mm hmm. 67. The suicide doors being demonstrated over there on the right. Had this bus since uh, 1995. Nice. And it was a started project, but we've yeah. had a lot of uh, friends, a lot of friends that helped us put this bus together. It's in beautiful shape. Yeah, it runs great. Did you tell him how many windows it has? Yeah. He said 21, 21 and I yeah. see a rag top too, though. Yeah, yeah. Just no corner windows, and no, that's what no. makes it 21. Right, right. Gotcha. So I have a lot of friends to be thankful for. Yeah. Popple uh, here is one. Uh, then I got this is a big Volkswagen, and my nice. friend Waldo is the big contributor to helping put this thing together. And Sometimes it takes a village, doesn't it? Does. It does. It sure does. <laughs> yeah. Let me swing around to the back yeah, right quick. Ahead, but yeah. thank you so much for sharing your your car with us. Thank you. <laughs> we'll go wide here. Oh yeah, my bad. Dude. No worries. Okay, and of course my wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it, even if it's just permission, right? Your permission from, from her to get it. <laughs> the paint is beautiful. <laughs> That's a team right there. Yeah, here's the giveaway on the 67. See our reverse lights back here. Let's take a peek inside, too. Ooh, a walk through. If I could change one thing about Project Van Demick, that'd be it. Fun stuff. Okay. Onward. How you doing? Oh, pretty black bug. Can't go wrong with that. Everybody, we're keeping our eye out for Jerry. We're going to try and get him a sticker. Really? I think we might have seen this one at Lakeland. What a pretty car. I can tell you, I am really, really enjoying driving Dweezil a lot. <laughs> there are fun cars to drive. There's something about like, I don't know if we all work on our own cars, but when you do, there's something really cool about being a person who can do that. Kind of a dying art, it seems, as Today's cars need less and less maintenance and care. That's easier in a logistical sense, but kind of losing that connection with our vehicles too. So it's nice to have something that you feel that deeply connected with. Because when you hear a noise, <laughs> you, you probably tighten to the thing that's now rattling. <laughs> 
pretty cars. Oh, this is nice. Smurf 76. <laughs> 73 thing, Survivor. Nice. Thanks everybody for being with us and hanging in there. We've got a big show that we're covering here and makes for a lengthy live stream, but from our attendance, uh, looks like there's interest in it. So I appreciate that and glad to be part of it. Beautiful black gear. This is what I was thinking of when we were looking at the thing over there. Oh, no, 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 no. That's Scratch that. That's like the bus and Ghia type. The thing one is kind of a torpedo shape to it. A little bit different than that. No, no flat bottom on it. This is a late Ghia. Pretty interior. Yeah, just a reminder, if anybody wants it, we did link t-shirts. We're trying this vintage font out that says Happy Garage across the front. Here's that salmon-colored single cab we see. Beautiful truck. Yeah, there's a link somewhere on the page that you're viewing on if you're interested in that. A couple early bays here, also survivors. One of them is a big high top. Like, that's big all the way back. A lot of times they have kind of a luggage rack in the back. That one just has space, headroom all the way back. That's colorful. Is this our buddy Jerry right here? Did we find him? Okay, we're going to make good on a debt owed here. <laughs> See the blaster effect? Fun car. There's two. Yes, sir. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Always great seeing you. Neat mirrors on this one. Early Beetle. So if you would, let me know what you think. Well, just about the show in general, but I pointed out at the top a little bit of a technical difference with the way we're covering this one with the uh, the vertical format if that's all right with you and if it performs well we'll keep doing it we're going to do what you all want or at least most of you want and i'm happy to hear any feedback maybe it's just a non-issue which is fine too Ooh, look at this square back up here I can see in what's called uh, analytics what people like in, in numbers. I don't go too deep into it, but it'll show me things like um, what percentage of viewers are watching on television versus a desktop versus a phone versus a tablet. And so the format um, would be important for that, just trying to do what everybody wants really. Try not to fall in. <laughs> Beautiful square back. Thanks for bringing it out. Yes, sir. <laughs> Another camper setup over here. And if you're watching this at some point in the future, thanks for doing that. Um, I'll monitor the chat into the future. So it doesn't just have to be the live chat. If you got something you want me to know, feel free to pop it into the chat below the view screen. Oh, here's that camper. Okay, I was going on about this custom camper a little bit earlier that uh, was kind of polished aluminum. We're gonna get a chance to see it. Look at this thing. It's got some solar up there. I estimated 600 watts. It may just be four panels for 400 watts, but look at this thing. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Got another one of those chrome early bay bumpers. And 
Let me back up away so you can actually see this thing. And it's cool, it looks cool from the back too. Oh man, the people here know how to cook. Everything smells so good. <laughs> oh, even have the engine bay open. So we're gonna get a peek at that too. Look at that, the, the uh, cable linkage for the dual carbs. Those are extra fancy. I've never played with one, but I think they do deal, deal a whole lot better with the expansion and contraction of the engine as it warms up and cools down. See the ducting in the back? They'd have to get cool air into this space because the inlet is on, of course, the other side of the alternator there. So they addressed that with those large, probably six inch aluminum ducts that you see in the back. Lots of fabrication here, little toolbox right where you need it. <laughs> a blower fan, this just looks like. The uh, end castings to the front. These to here, free to spectate. That's the idea behind Nodo, which is a very popular idea. But you get a crowd that is not just the diehard VW folks like you and I. You get more of a casual crowd, and that's great. We want to be accessible to anyone who's interested. But we'd feel that in the swaps, right? If not everybody here is restoring a car, we'd expect that to maybe put downward pressure on the activity well, in the swaps. Awesome. Well, the show's getting so big that it's doing a better job of, like we are doing a better job of supporting our swappers, which is really great. Got some thing fenders up here. Very cool. Yeah, if I had to pick one thing that I enjoyed the most and that I felt did the best job of keeping the hobby alive, it would be the swap meets. How you doing? That's kind of the direction that I'm going these days too. So if we're wondering about the forward movement of Haptic Garage, big things coming up. I'll let those out when we're ready to make any announcements or share whatever it is. But uh, the idea, the basic idea is to be as self-sufficient as possible in the maintenance and operation of these vehicles. So we've made a few acquisitions <laughs> of some, some tooling that we need to learn how to use. But that journey of, of learning how to use a tool cutter and grinder and the cold saw that we just got and something called a surface grinder and of course the mill and the lathe we're going to keep playing with all of that stuff and keep an eye out for things that we can do for you we'll know it when we see it don't know what it is now but we're going to stay immersed in the technical side of what we do with all of these original parts found at swap meets and trying to convert all of that into a running driving car like we're doing with dweezel so stay tuned i think there's a good future ahead for haptic garage and we're sure happy with where we are today. I'm going to take one more glance at the swaps here. I'm going to go around the corner and show you just a little bit more. I think this is all area that we covered before. It's an early bay single. But yeah, we're excited about what's coming up. I don't know exactly <laughs> what everything's going to look like, but I know it's going to be a lot of fun and be a lot of room to grow for us. Kind of cutting through some folks' camps here. I'm going to tread lightly. I have some Type 4 cases over here. There you go. Oh, you know what? We're going to walk over here and get a glimpse at the limbo contest. They did a teeter-totter thing yesterday at Giuseppe's. Uh, today is the limbo contest, always a popular thing. So we'll give you one glimpse of this. Whoa, watch the head, watch the back. The things are always the winners and the ones that really go hardcore and cut the top of their steering wheel. They're the ones who have the, the best clearance. <laughs> Let's see if we can give you a little bit better of a look here. 
That's our organizer, Bill, with the, uh, well, the hula skirt on <laughs> and the blue hat on the other side of the road there. <laughs> if you're catching this, they're pulling the hood off of the front. That was a surprise they had waiting for everyone. I hear air. This is starting to feel like a purpose built machine. I'm glad we let him back in. This is my beer year, man. Heads down, keep your heads down. Got somebody attempting to climb over. Man, that stair wheel, though, man, that stair wheel. Oh, God. Okay, <laughs> the steering wheel just came completely off. Also a surprise. Good show. They really put the effort into it. I think I heard the guy in the back saying the front's not let down yet. The front. <laughs> and they had to keep going and pop the bar off. But good times. We. I don't. I don't think we could have timed that better. So <laughs> the universe is looking out for us. Let me catch up with chat right quick. Um, what the <laughs> is right, Ron? <laughs> and VW Darren, great to have you with us, man. You have a pallet of cases when we're ready to do some machining work. <laughs> All right, I am down for that. I'm going to have to get practiced and knowledgeable so I'm up to the level that would satisfy you for sure, but that sounds good to me. I have a line possibly on a line boring bar. We've got one that I think we can improve to, so there is a path to doing a little bit more with the align boring and the decking and uh, rebuilding heads and all that stuff. Love all of it. Not all of it is practical, but love doing all of it. And uh, happy to share that with the folks around me too. So thanks for, for jumping in. Darren, love, love hearing from you. All right, folks, this is gonna be it from NODO 2024. I appreciate everybody hanging out with us at this beautiful venue. We will catch you all again in the next one. Have a great summer, everybody. We'll see you again soon.